What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel guys. So here we have our big flathead that we caught the other day and in this video I'm going to show you all pretty much how to fillet a catfish. Now there's many ways to go about filleting a catfish. You can use an electric knife, uh, you can hang them up, use a pair of pliers and yank the skin off or you can just go classic you know fillet knife and just go down the spine and then take the meat off and go past the ribs and then lay down the meat and take the skin off and that's the method I'm going to be showing you all today is the basic fillet knife way. Now with a big fish like this and I know like with bass and crappie and like other fish like that you turn them on the side and you do one side at the time well on a big catfish like this you kind of want to leave it stationary standing straight up like this that way you have easy access to the spine and all you're going to do is start your slices right here behind the back of the head and usually with catfish they have like a big like uh, almost like an arrow indent so you're going to follow that arrow indent and you're just going to go right down next to the gill and uh, right behind this fin they have a bone you can see it right there all you're going to do is take that fillet knife and go right behind that bone and then follow it up to the head and you're gonna make that line right there. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Come down, find that bone, go right behind the bone. I'll just release some air on him. There you go. And then you're gonna find the spine. The spine's right here. side right there I'm gonna take a fillet knife and you're just gonna follow that spine around that fin just keep going down and while you're pushing make sure your knife is pressed firmly against that spine and follow it all the way down see there's that spine and you're gonna come on this side of it follow it right on the other side there you go now you're just going to slowly cut back up that spine towards the head go around this fin there's a bone right there for that fin as well try to go around that the now one thing I really like about doing it this method is when you're doing it like an electric knife most of the time especially for like smaller catfish that have way more brittle bones is that fillet knife is cutting straight through those little small rib bones so when you're using a classic fillet knife like this in this method it allows you to feel the rib bones so when you're filleting the fish you can kind of go over them and a lot of people say, well, you're losing meat that way. Well, not really. All you're losing is bones out of your meat and uh, it's just a little bit more time, that's all. And I think it's way worth taking a little bit more time to get rid of the ribs than to have to deal with the ribs later on after you cook the fish. It's just a whole bunch of a mess. So now that I pretty much did this side, I'm gonna do this side for y'all that's closest to the camera. And it's hard because this fin's in the way. Now a lot of times people, they'll go ahead and just cut the fins off so you don't have to worry about cutting around them. But when you're out and pressed for time and you don't have the proper tools for it, you just use what you got. And in this situation, it is a fillet knife. You go around it. Go back up the head. There, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And you're gonna come back right over here where we started. And you're gonna go down the gills, down to the meat. Now with these flatheads, one of the things they're really prized over is that belly fat we all got right here. So after we get these juicy fillets right here, we're gonna take out that belly fat. So we're gonna finish right down here. We got. See my knife poking go on that rib bone. There, there we go. I'm just gonna follow. There we go. Just follow that spine.
we'll start seeing the meat. So the fillet pretty much stops right here. We fold that up. So I'm gonna start making my cuts right here to separate it from the top of the head. Now the head bone has a lot of uh, bones, so you're gonna wanna go around them. Oh yeah, it's really heavy. There's one bone right here. It's just sticking out a lot. doing right now is we're going to go over the ribs. The ribs are right here. And you're going to do is you're going to angle your fillet knife kind of like at an angle and you're just going to follow it down. Now one thing I really found helps is putting your pointer finger right here behind the blade because it kind of helps as a guiding for these ribs and it helps you kind of like to pass over them with ease. So it just helps. I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of experienced people are watching this right now saying this young guy is absolutely jacking this catfish up but it only looks like that but this catfish has a lot of meat a lot of meat see now there's the ribs right there you can see them let me get cut a little bit more so you can see a little bit better There's our first fillet. That is a uh, pretty big. So what you can see right here is where I was cutting away at. Right here are these ribs, and all right here is ribs. Now when we get to our belly fat, that's going to be at the bottom, and we're going to go right around those ribs. But as you can see, and look at that, look at how clear that spine is. That's how thin it is. That's how much meat we're getting off this guy. So now on the other side, you're going to do the exact same thing. Take the knife, pass it through, and follow that spine. Difficult. I know y'all can't really see it on this side of here. I'll turn them around for y'all. Put our meat down somewhere. Now y'all can see better. I'm doing the exact same thing I did on the other side. Got my way through. Now we're gonna have to go around these ribs, which is kind of hard. You just gotta feel for them. Once you do find those ribs, it's pretty easy. You just got like angle your knife, like I said, and kind of just follow them down. And there's our other fillet. So there's our two fillets. Here's our catfish. As you can see much got it all clear there's just a little bit of meat left on here that we can skim right off not a whole bunch but a little bit enough for a nugget but other than that as you can see that tail is uh, pretty thin that is everything now we're gonna get into next is uh, sorry I almost lost my balance but now what we're gonna get into next is uh, the underbelly which is the belly meat on a flathead and that is all this right here, all this goodness right here. So now this is where it's gonna get a little bit messy. Um, this is where we're gonna have to start getting into like the guts and stuff. We're gonna have to take all that out and get just this thick, juicy like belly meat that we have right here. 
So that's what it's all about right here is this thick, nice, good belly meat. So you're gonna come under that fin, come up, come around, come back down. There we go. Just like that. All right, there we go. Now this is that belly meat right here. As you can see, it is a big chunk of it. And this guy had plenty. All right, so viewer discretion is advised at this part. This is where we start pulling pieces of them out. <laughs> Making sure I'm not piercing any guts or anything. All the way down to the anal. That allows us to kind of open them up a little bit more and see what we got. Right there, and that's all the uh, belly meat that we want is right here. You can see there's this white wall right here. I don't know if y'all can see it on the camera or not, but there's a white wall. And you kind of want to go right under that white wall, pierce that skin, and then just cut. That's all that meat. You went right past the ribs, about it. Cut up. There we go. There we go. Oh. Hit a rib bone, that's okay. Cut it off. There we go. Oops, sorry. And then that's our belly meat fillet. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, move everything over, find that line, which is about right here, or so. Just cut through. Okay, now I'm gonna turn him over because he keeps wanting to slide. So I'm gonna turn him over so he'll stay. I'm gonna take that belly fat that I've been cutting on and just follow it up. It's slippery. All right, and that's your second thing of belly fat. So that is our whole flathead catfish. As you can see, nothing was wasted. Now, a lot of people as well with flathead catfish, they have really like meaty heads. So what you can do is go back behind the head right here and uh, you'll, you'll feel it's really soft. And just push your knife in a little bit, hold the head. And they got this head meat that's right here. And what they do is they call these oysters on the catfish. Kind of the same way you would with cheeks with a cow. Just come in. Follow that bone. Go right around. And then you can pretty much just peel it off. And there you go. There is your oyster from that one side. We'll get it on this other side as well. Might as well. Try not gonna waste anything on this fish. That's the top of the catfish. <laughs> so 
So that is the entire catfish breakdown, guys. Uh, we took the top head. Now the catfish head, especially a flathead catfish, has a lot of head meat. So I've seen a lot of people like just completely fillet the entire head and keep all the meat on it. But we're really not that desperate for catfish meat. So what we did is we completely filleted both sides. And then after that, I mean, as you can see, look, there's nothing left of the catfish. Nothing was wasted on this fish. We even got the underbelly meat. I know, graphic, YouTube, but we got it all. Nothing was wasted on. So now that we have our fish completely filleted, now what we have to do is we have to worry about the skin that is on our catfish fillets. And that's being this skin right here. Now you do not want to cook this because when you cook it, it becomes extremely leathery. It's not a pleasant taste, so you have to remove the skin off of this. So what you want to do first is you want to start with a end that has some good amount of meat right there. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your two fingers, cut just a little bit behind the meat. That way you have something to like push your fingers against and hold it down. And then you're going to cut down and you're going to angle your uh, knife just like this, as flat as possible. And you're going to feel it rub across that uh, skin at the bottom. So you're going to grab, get a good grip, and just start cutting. Make that knife as flat as you possibly can. Press it as hard as you can against the cutting board. Just cut. Now a lot of times you can just do it one easy swoop just like that and see? All the skin gone. Beautiful white catfish fillet. Gorgeous. And you can just take that skin. We got the pond behind us. Guess what? Turtles and catfish get a good meal. And that is your perfect fillet right there. Now we're gonna do it with the other belly meat. Good lord. This flathead had a lot of belly meat. Now look for that spot where the good meat is and you can find the skin. You're gonna come right behind it. Cut down to that angle. Give your fingers an anchor. Grab that anchor. Come down. Angle the knife. Go across. Ugh. You gotta really cut hard. <laughs> This is just a really thick, thick flathead. Sorry, I'm trying to re-anchor my fingers here and get a better grip. There we go, now I can grab the flesh and cut right through it. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, look how white that is. Oh my gosh, look. It's so white. Let me get close to the camera for y'all. That is what we're after right there. Those ghost white catfish belly fillets. That is the best thing ever right there. That is what you want. Take the skin, throw it to the turtles. Okay, now here we got a really big long fillet. I kind of butchered it a little bit right there, getting my angle and my knife right, but it's okay. Again, take your knife, find your anchor point with the skin, cut a little bit then that little hump that you made with the meat take your two fingers grab it cut all the way down to the skin anchor it down and then cut oh I messed up on that one but it's okay kind of took out the red line on it there you go there's still a little bit of meat left on this one. I don't want to waste it, so go back over it. And it's okay, we're gonna make catfish nuggets anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect store-bought fillet quality. And you just go back down and cut. There we go. Nice good fillet. Nothing but the skin left. Turtles. Here we go, number two. Try to do this one better. <laughs> got a little too in a hurry on that last one. So I got a little bit of skin right here. I'm gonna grab with that foot forward a little bit more so I can get my angle. Go down, start cutting. The skin is so slippery. Also, another thing that I didn't do that I would recommend is uh, before starting to cut your fish, especially if you're gonna do it with your hands. Take a paper towel, take the time, and completely get that slime off because it'll definitely help with your grip in the long run. So you won't have to be messing around and keep losing it like I am right back here. I don't know if you're seeing this, but it just slides right off. <laughs> I have like nowhere to anchor it really. Not until I get some meat I can hold on to. Fillet knife down 
as flat as you possibly can. The flatter the knife, the more meat and the better the cut. Sorry guys, I'm kind of struggling here to get a grip on him. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's just so freaking slippery. not what you want to do right there. So now I gotta start on the other side. But at least this time, get myself a finger grip right here. There we go. Much better. Much better. long good fillet all right guys so that is all the meat off that catfish here is our two giant fillets off that big old flathead and here's our two giant fillets of the belly meat which is going to be the best part of the catfish guys i really hope y'all enjoy the video guys this is my first flathead catfish ever and i'm so grateful i got to experience it with y'all too ah cut cut all right guys, so here's our two giant fillets off that big old catfish, and here is our two giant fillets of belly meat off that flathead as well, guys. This is a lot of meat off this fish, a lot of meat. This is gonna feed me and my friends, and we're gonna have a great time with the catfish fry. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is my first ever flathead. I'm so glad I got to catch it, experience it, and show it to y'all guys. That is the best feeling in the world. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope you took some out of this tutorial. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel. Make sure to give this video the big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get alerted as soon as more awesome videos like this drop, guys. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.